everyone, it's Athena here from Courage Coaching. I would like to do a video today on engulfment, otherwise known as enmeshment. Now engulfment is something that happens in dysfunctional families, particularly narcissistically abusive families, and it tends to be the mother in the family that engulfs or enmeshes with her children. Now, what is engulfment or enmeshment? Engulfment is a unhealthy and overwhelming level of attention and dependency on another person, which comes from the belief that one exists only within the context of that relationship. The status of the relationship is given inappropriate levels of priority over other physical or emotional needs. In this case, let's talk about the narcissistic mother. She will believe that there is constantly a sense of crisis around her relationship with her children. Narcissistic mothers demand an excessive amount of time and devotion. She expects her children to be devoted to her and going to extreme lengths to cater to her needs in a way that is beyond healthy. Relationships with outsiders, family and friends may be seen as threats. So if, for instance, the um, adult child has a new partner, um, the mother in this case will talk about the new partner in a negative way because she doesn't want that new partner to take time away from her child because she wants her child to cater to her needs constantly, to be there, to support her, to do things in the family. So any outsider is a threat to a narcissistic mother that enmeshes her children. Now let's talk about some examples of engulfment. It might look a little bit like, for instance, when a mother refuses to look after herself and expects her children to take on the parental role and cater to all her needs. Another example of this would be where a man might tell a woman that he will kill himself if that woman leaves him. Now, how does it feel if you're in a relationship where engulfment is present? It can make you feel quite frightened, quite threatened and quite exhausted having to deal with this. When you are on the receiving end of engulfment, you will end up having to compromise other relationships in order to keep the peace with the person who is doing the engulfment. There may be um, intimidation or rage. They may fear violence. They may fear all sorts of um, unpleasant situations from the person who is doing the engulfment. And it depends who the person is, of course. If it's the mother with the children, she may threaten that she will hurt herself or she may threaten that she'll never speak to the children again. So it's very, very uncomfortable for the person on the receiving end of engulfment. Now, what tends to happen in families is that you may feel a sense of huge obligation to help your uh, parents, your mother in this case. You may feel that you have to be loyal and that you have to honour your mother or your father's wishes and that keeps you stuck in an unhealthy relationship, in an unhealthy uh, pattern where um, engulfment continues and guilt is the one thing that prevents you from breaking away from this sort of relationship. Another thing that's important to remember is that even though you might be in a relationship where engulfment is happening, please don't allow that person to isolate you from friends and family and other people around you because you might need their support at some point in the future when you try to break away from this enmeshed relationship. Don't give up a good job, don't give up your home, don't give up anything of importance to you that provides security because you will need these at some point in the future. If you feel uncomfortable in a relationship and there are alarm bells going off, then please talk to um, somebody that you trust, a friend or um, a psychologist, because sometimes what you may be experiencing and you may think is normal, in reality, it's actually not normal. It's extremely dysfunctional. It's extremely controlling. And the best thing you can do is actually separate yourself from this situation or from this person. 
You do not want to feel like you are stuck in a pattern of engulfment with another person. You have a right to live your life as an equal, respected individual that has his or her own needs and that isn't expected to constantly cater to another person's needs. And if that person has a problem with depending on others too much, then that isn't something that you have to um, enable. That isn't something that you have to go along with. Thank you so much. That is the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. If you want to leave a comment, then please do so. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then please click on the subscribe button. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.